like to recap the astrology. Mars and Venus are the planets that stuck out to me the most. Um, and they were just in this conjunction. So let's see if that energy comes out for Taurus. All right, so we have the goddess card coming out. So this would be like a divine feminine energy and the prosperity card. I'll go ahead and take it. Number three says prosperity prevails in the land. Um, I could be talking to divine feminine or I could be talking to a divine masculine who's been balancing their divine masculine and divine feminine energy and manifesting when they come into this alignment, right? Like I picked that up really uh, direct for somebody, um, but definitely could be divine feminine also, who is also manifesting prosperity. It's like, that is what your focus is right now. Staying the course is the card that was on the bottom. All right. So let's pull energy oracle out. Taurus money is the focus, right? But I definitely picked up on that um, divine feminine energy, and that's that receiving energy, right? That's how we um, manifest, call things in, bring things to us. All right, so challenge or obstacle. have the fourth chakra, the heart chakra. It's interesting because that's what you need to manifest. Lesson learned, have a man holding a heart. Um, I'm definitely getting like a split. I mean, like a, like if it's, a, you know, um, somebody who's looking for a feminine partner and someone who's looking for a masculine partner. Um, Man holding a heart and lesson learned is like this energy of um, what we want to be, right? Like, it's a, like that's what we aspire to. Um, someone who's very faithful, honest, loyal, right? And um, you see how he's cut the heart out of his out of his clothes, um, like give you the shirt off his back type of energy, right? And that's lesson learned. It's very possible this is what you're learning to do right now, Taurus, especially with having the heart chakra. Um, and challenges or obstacle, I could be talking to a Taurus who's having heart chakra awakening. If I'm talking to a divine feminine who has, is, is, this is more about you've gained prosperity. Um, maybe to you, money is like, you know, how I always say money isn't always abundance to people. Some people want love. Like some people want love more than they want money. Um, some people say that love doesn't buy happiness. We've been making a joke around here, me and my sons, um, that if you have a lot of money and it's not buying you happiness, you can just go ahead and give it to us and then we will show you how to do it, right? <laughs> um, <laughs> um, <laughs> I don't know, but it's just like you're trying to become this person um, or you want this person, right? So if I feel like if I'm talking to Divine Feminine, you already have become this person. You've already worked on this healing um, journey. You've already worked on healing heart space. Um, you could be calling someone in, manifesting this person, someone who's loyal, faithful, honest, you know what I'm saying? Um, but if you're not in your, like, you know what I'm saying, trying to call in this, you know, energy from, um, I don't know how to say it, like man, woman, woman, man, 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 woman, woman, it doesn't matter, right? Um, but it's like somebody wants a man and somebody wants a woman. <laughs> um, the one, the woman is like, you know, I've already healed these things and now I just need somebody, like the money didn't buy the happiness is what I'm getting at, right? So it's like now they want a relationship and I guess that could be man or woman, it doesn't matter, right? It doesn't matter who you want, what you want, but it's like you try to focus on prosperity, you try to focus on money and now you're realizing that maybe money wasn't like, you know, the whole thing victory comes out for the outcome. On the bottom is the journey card. Journey card says you take a new direction and that's kind of what I'm getting. Like you've been really focused on prosperity, money, building your things, that type of thing. Um, and it's like, now you could be having heart chakra awakening and you're like, you know, this isn't enough for me. I need love and money, right? All right. 
for it. The devil card comes out. Capricorn energy tied to something bound, something unhealthy. King of Wands comes out and Knight of Swords. King of Wands is someone who is confident, takes action. Knight of Swords is someone who breaks free of something, breaks free of something. I could be talking to someone who's done this, like you um, took control of your life, walked away from things that were unhealthy. We have five of swords coming out for the fourth chakra. We have queen of wands coming out. We have the hanged one. I think this has something to do with your confidence, Taurus. Um, five of swords could be some disagreements, but I'm getting more like uh, negative thoughts. And it is because it's right next to the queen of wands. Queen of Wands is like, be confident in yourself. You have the King of Wands, which is confident in themselves, and they take action. And you have the Hanged One, and the Hanged One is like stuck in your head, Pisces energy. Um, and what you're stuck in your head about is that heart chakra. So like opening up your heart space. Um, I feel like maybe it's possible that, um, you know, you were bound to something that was unhealthy at one time. Definitely could be a relationship. I feel like you gained enough confidence to walk away from that and you worked on your money, worked on prosperity, worked on, um, you know, having things. And it's like now you're realizing that's not enough for you. It's like you want more. You want the other half that goes with this, this journey, right? Ace of Cups. Thank you, Spirit. A uh, new romantic cycle, overflow of emotion. Um, it's also intuition. It's also intuition. So I do still get pick up that split energy. So it's like um, whoever's trying to manifest this person and it's like you could be having like um, intuitive hits, right? Um, King of Swords, I heard affirmations, but I mean, you could just be like, speaking something into existence. Um, Four of Swords is like rest, healing, uh, redirection, redirection. And yeah, again, it's like the money wasn't enough or it wasn't like the end game, right? It's not that it's not enough. It's just like there's more to it is what I'm getting. All right, so there's a victory. We have the five of cups. We have the eight of pinnacles. We have the knight of cups. Thank goodness, I was getting nervous. And six of cups is on the bottom. How interesting. Um, Six of Cups could be reunion energy. This could be someone from your past. Um, I don't think so. No, I feel like you really broke away from something. But I think you're also getting like Six of Cups is like a gift. All right, Taurus. So the victory is that you grieve. You grieve whatever this energy is that you had to break away from that maybe made you not so confident as you worked on your pinnacles, right? Your prosperity, your abundance. But it's like now it's time to redirect that energy. Now it's time to speak your truth. Now it's time to focus on this Nine of Cups energy. Nine of Cups is, again, being courageous enough to deliver a message. And the message is going to be the element, right? The cups. So love. All right, Taurus. We have Mystic Healer. Healing energy flows through you. We have Distant Thunder. Clear the air. And we have Impasse. Look at that. Reflect and redirect your energy. All right, I'm going to leave it. No, I'm not. Moonology Oracle to close it out for Taurus. Remember, we do the Moonology Oracle at the end to help you with your thoughts and emotions. Definitely some overthinking maybe even stuck in something from your past. And I don't feel like you're stuck to the situation, Taurus. I feel like it's just this energy, like this didn't work out for me before. Why would it work out for me now, right? It's that type of energy. And I think that's why the whole distant thunder clear the air, like leave the past in the past, Taurus. Reflect and redirect your energy. Look at that. Your dreams need a practical plan. It's full moon in Taurus. 
step out of your comfort zone. That's what it's going to take to be that Knight of Cups, North Node, and balance spirituality and practicality. It's full moon and Pisces. All right, now I'm going to leave it there, Taurus. I hope that reading was helpful. If it was, guys, tap that like button for me.